Hey y'all, welcome back to Me Mom's House and welcome to all our new subscribers. I'm so glad you joined our community. So today I'm going to make a chicken enchilada, keto style, because you know that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get back on my keto wagon. So if you're interested in the keto diet, this particular dish is a keto friendly dish. So let me get my ingredients pulled together and we'll get to cooking. Here are the ingredients that we'll be using. And as per usual, I'll put the recipe down in the description box. With this recipe, we'll start by using a rotisserie chicken that I got from my local Walmart market. I'm going to take the chicken off the bone, half of the chicken, and then I'll use the other half of the chicken for another recipe. I'm going to cut the chicken off the bone and then I'll shred that chicken to go into our cheese sauce.
Now that I have the chicken shredded, it's time to work on the cheese sauce. It starts with one block of cream cheese, and then I will add canned milk. I don't have enough in this can. I'll go get another can in just a minute. Okay, now that I have my whole can of milk, I can go ahead and add that. Now it's time to add the seasoning. So we'll start with some dried cilantro. We'll add some cumin. And finally, we'll add some smoked paprika. No salt needed. The cream cheese and the mozzarella will add enough salt to this cream sauce. Now I'm going to break up my cream cheese as it starts to melt and soften in the pan. I have it on a medium heat and we'll go ahead and get this stirred until that cream cheese melts into the milk. Now I'm going to add jalapenos. And you'll add enough jalapenos to the heat level that you desire. Now I'm going to add my mozzarella cheese. I prefer mozzarella because I like the pull that mozzarella offers. But if you prefer something like pepper jack or monterey jack or even sharp cheddar, use whatever cheese your heart desires. Now we'll stir this sauce and if it is too thick, we'll add a little bit more milk. Now once your cheese sauce has got come to the desired thickness, I go ahead and add my chicken. I 
needed a little bit more milk because the sauce was too thick once I got that cheese in there it started to melt and I put the chicken in so feel it out to see how thin or how thick you want your chicken mixture to be Okay, now it's time to assemble our dish. Now these are the tortilla shells that I'm using that are low in carbs. They are three grams of carbs per shell, which is excellent if you're going to eat a low carb diet. So I'm going to pour a little bit of green salsa in my pan. And this is not hot, it's not spicy at all. It, it just has the tomatoes and onions and peppers in it. Now I'll begin to make my enchiladas. I'll top them with more salsa and then I'll add some mozzarella cheese. Okay, y'all, our enchiladas are in the oven. They're baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and they'll bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until that cheese melts and everything is nice and golden brown and bubbly. So I'm going to do make my salad. We're going to have kind of a Mexican-based type salad with some salsa and lettuce and tomato and that kind of thing in it. So we're going to pair that with our enchiladas. Let's let that bake and I'll be right back. I did. Okay, our enchiladas are done. My cheese got a little bit too brown for me, but that's okay. We'll eat it anyway and I'm sure it will be delicious. I hope you enjoyed this keto-friendly recipe. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and join our community here at Mimo's house. Y'all be blessed and have a good day. Bye.